Good evening, everybody. Um, yeah, well, I guess I'll make another video tonight. And uh, I've been on a I've been on a dating dating site, and uh, I received a question today. What are some of the simple uh, things in life? At first, I was going to make a, a video on dating, but uh, I don't really feel like it to, tonight. And I think I could make more than uh, one of those uh, anyway. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different, and I. I thought that was a pretty good question. So I'm just going to talk about some of the simple pleasures in life that I really enjoy. Uh, the first simple pleasure I have in life that I enjoy is um, reading reading my book in the summertime or the springtime when it's raining outside with uh, with my window open. Um, I love reading like that and you know, hearing the the rain uh, falling outside against uh, the window and stuff like the gentle pitter patter and you know, the raindrops and to the smell that comes in, you know, rain uh, leaves such a beautiful smell of everything outside. So, so yeah, something simple, but I really enjoy it. I, I also, you know, even better than that is, you know, reading while a, a thunderstorm's happening outside. And, I love the sound of thunder and the power of it, or watching a light uh, thunderstorm, or you know, sometimes like a lightning storm too, when you just go outside and there's no rain, and you know, the static electricity or whatever it is that makes the lightning is really high, and you just see the the sky being lit up with all this uh, lightning, and you know, no sound, no thunder. Last time that happened was uh, last summer when I was out at a a lake and. Uh, you can see that happening off to the west in the mountains, and so yeah, that was uh, that was really cool. It was really beautiful. It's, you know, from some of my other videos, I love cross country skiing. I love going out to the mountains. Um, but you know, I also really enjoy the prairie as well. Um, the east of where I live is is uh, a lot of prairie land, and you know, most people think I just like the mountains, but I also really do like uh, the prairie. I didn't when I was younger. Um, but I do now. I I like the the spaciousness of the of the prairie. You know, it's just uh, spacious and you know, like not limiting. Um, more often than not, you know, I I limit myself and I always have to make myself fit into some category or be a certain way. So I think sometimes that's why I appreciate the the prairie, it's just wide open, and, and uh, that's what I strive to do with my life. You know, I don't want to limit myself as much, give myself permission to feel anything, to be anything, and and all that. Um, because, yeah, limiting myself is, uh, you know, it's done a lot of hurt, and it's done a lot of pain in the, in the past, so that's something I definitely want to want to leave behind, you know. One thing that kind of comes to mind is on anger or hating people and and um wow I'm really getting off the topic here. Yeah, you know, uh I didn't think it was alright to get angry or to hate uh people but you know I feel differently about that today and um I think it's wrong to hold on to hate, you know, because then that can end up doing me more damage than good. But I look at you know, it's not like I've hated a lot of people, but there have been a few that I have hated and I've denied that and, and, uh, you know, that really got me nowhere. Um, I didn't really start to let go of them or to forgive them or move on and find some peace for myself until uh, I acknowledged that I, I hated them. Um, so yeah, so, you know, I don't think hate's always a really bad thing. In some ways, by not hating somebody, I think I can almost be doing a disservice to myself. It's like saying that they're, the other person's needs or wants or whatever is, you know, more important than than mine. Uh, and you know that I uh, hate can let me know that I wasn't being treated with respect or fairly. And, and hopefully, if I see that sort of thing happening again, uh, that I'll do things differently and uh, and not always try to see the best in people. Because uh, sometimes that. It just ends up hurting me. So yeah. Other things I really enjoy, I enjoy music. Um uh, one of my favorite bands is Led Zeppelin. Um uh, my favorite songs by them are like the Rain song. 
Um, what else do I like? Uh, I that one, uh, Rain Song. Ah, what's it called? Dazed and Confused, uh, Whole Lot of Love. You know, they're just a really awesome band. Uh, I also really enjoy Nine Inch Nails. They're one of my, my favorite bands. Uh, I like really relaxing and mellow music as well. I enjoy campfires. Uh, you know, just watching the fire dance and burn. You know, it never does the same thing. It's always, it's always changing. Um, so I find that really, uh, pretty out as well. I, I enjoy sometimes watching children play, you know. We could all learn a lot from children. They're like the masters of, of living in the moment. Uh, so they're pretty cool. I, uh, what else do I enjoy? I enjoy in the summertime, like, you know, when girls wear those long flowery type of summer dresses. I think those are really, really pretty and I enjoy. I enjoy seeing girls wearing wearing those. I like coffee. I like reading. You know, a good book. Uh, they they even go better together. You know, uh, reading a book in a nice quiet coffee shop and just watching the world the world go by. I I like birds. Um, they're really cool. Um, like the kind of jokes, you know, and think they're kind of like bastards the way they they walk around and like. The way they own the place, uh, particularly Canada geese. I I really like Canada geese. I find them to yeah, be just an amazing bird, and they're uh, monogamous birds too. Like they they mate for life. So I think that's kind of that's kind of cool about them. Uh, I like uh, Indian food. Indian foods, you know, really good. I like the spiciness, uh, the spiciness of it. So. Yeah, that's another one of my favorite things. And, and my uh, silence. Yeah, silence is a huge one now, you know. Um, I did a hike in late October and there was some snow on the ground and just stopped and absolutely no sound out there and it was just beautiful. You know, up until that point I always thought hiking was about uh, what I saw, but at that point I, I realized sometimes it's about what you hear or what you don't hear. Especially going on in the mountains or out in the bush in the winter. All the snow makes everything so, so quiet. So, yeah, I, I love, uh, I love silence. And, yeah, now I can sometimes drive around with the car with no radio or no music on. And that's pretty cool. I never used to be able to do that. I always needed to have some music or stuff, uh, blaring away. And now sometimes I just like sitting back and enjoying my own company. Uh, just being with my mind or whatever you want to call it and enjoying my thoughts and, and stuff. Uh, especially at work, you know, I work with a lot of people all the time, so uh, sometimes it's just nice to have some silence and enjoy my own company and enjoy my own uh, thoughts. So, so yeah, so silence is another huge one as, as well. Uh, love nature. Um, yeah, well, this is going to be a pretty long video, so I think I'll just leave it at uh, that tonight. And, you know, sooner or later I'll probably do some other videos on dating and everything. Not that I'm an expert in that by any uh, scope of the imagination. So, thanks everybody and peace, peace and respect, man. Bye.